Welcome back to Bolts and Brass, folks. Today we are talking about tactical gear, training gear, emergency gear, whatever you want to call it, but specifically breaking it down into the first, second, and third line gear. This is phraseology that is common in the military, somewhat police environments, and the civilian world has kind of picked it up as convenient because it describes what goes where and what gear you're worried about. It, it isn't quite the same for the civilian world as in the military world. The military world has very distinct breakdowns. They're generally operating in an environment where it's more critical. In the civilian world, it's less likely to be as critical, but it's still, the logic still applies. Let's get into it. Now, the first thing to remember is that the lines are stacked. They're built on top of each other. Second line includes first line. Third line includes second line, which includes first line. Now, in reality, I can see plenty of scenarios where I would wear what is considered third line without first or second, particularly without second. Now, what are they? First line is your bare essentials. Do you need this to survive? This is some form of weapon. It's usually a handgun spare magazine, probably a spare magazine for your primary weapon, which would be your rifle or a shotgun. And then whatever else you absolutely have to have, if you drop everything else, if you are running through the world dark, you know, naked, what is your bare minimum gear? So if you are, for example, the radar, radio operator, you need a radio. If you're the medic, you need a medical kit. If you are just Joe Blow, you probably still want a tourniquet or small med kit that includes a tourniquet. You may want a knife of some sort. You may want a pocket light of some sort. If you need an EpiPen for uh, you know allergies or something, um, if you need an inhaler, if you're asthmatic and it's, it's something you really need that inhaler for, if you have insulin needs, anything like that, that's all first line. If, if your life is in danger, if you don't have it, or if your mission is completely undoable without it, that's first line. Uh, in the purely everyday civilian world, this is your wallet, your keys, and your phone, okay? Think about it that way. Like, are you leaving the house? Wallet, keys, phone, right? Normally, that is a belt of some sort. It could be a regular belt, it could be a tactical style belt, it could be a padded war belt, whatever you need. Uh, and it can be fairly complete. I mean, there are people who run first line, very full featured, a lot of gear. I used to do that because I wouldn't assume I was going to have second line at all. My planning, my assumptions were there is no second line. First line has to have enough ammo to kind of include second line roles. Second line is body armor, a chest rig, more ammo, more medical, extra gear you would like to have, but is not, oh my God, that, you know, we might as well just turn around and go home without it, but not long-term stuff. Long-term stuff goes in third line. Third line is the backpack. It's the duffel bag. It's the, the you know, box in the car. That is the stuff that keeps you going. It is sustainment gear. It is extra ammo, extra medical, food, change of clothes, spare pair of shoes or boots spare batteries, things like that. It is not your right now gear. It is your right now happen. Now I got to restock. Now I need to deal with the after effects. That's third line. Third line is usually if you, if you think about it as having a go bag or a get home bag or a three day, you know, assault pack kind of setup, that's third line. What you were wearing before you put on that backpack was first and second line. Currently, my, my current philosophy and the philosophy you're going to see a lot, people are going less is more. People are going to lighter weight rigs, um, more minimalistic, less ammo, slim down extras. And the reason is simple. It's weight. It's if you're carrying more weight, you move slower, you wear yourself out faster, you are more injury prone. And you're more obvious. You are, you stand out like a sore thumb. If you're in a combat zone, that's different. But you see these guys who come back from, from Afghanistan and Iraq and they've got pictures of themselves there, 
tons of gear. Their, their second line looks, you know, it makes them look like they weigh 400 pounds. In the civilian world, particularly, I mean, you see it a lot with a vet is no longer in service. They, they've gotten out of the service. Very quickly, all that slims down to a few mags, the lightest armor they can afford, maybe a water bladder, a knife, and a, a tourniquet. Because they've carried all the stuff and they know what they really care about in, in the real world. Where I see people getting crazy is third line. They show you this pack that they're supposedly putting it all in, right? And they show them walking around with it. And they show you the list and, and the individual items they're putting in it. And you go, that, that doesn't all fit in that pack, dude. Lighter's better. Uh, you know, if I want to be able to keep going for a while, and the whole point of a sustainment pack is that you can keep going, I want that to be light. I want that to be comfy. I want it to be, what do I really need? And that's it. When you look at your third line, for most of us, you don't need more ammo. You'd be way better off with a spare battery to charge your phone, some energy bars, right? Some, you know, some uh, cliff bars or kind bars, things to make your life easier, a puffy jacket, a rain jacket, spare pair of socks, some wipes, dude wipes, or, or something in that nature, right? Now, if you got this far, guess what? Future videos are going to get into the details of the equipment on first and second line. Third line, we're probably not going to talk about much. I've already covered my opinion on that. And I think that other people have done those videos better than I could. Trying to narrow that down for somebody is very location specific, need specific. Prioritize. Like I always say, think about your priorities and make your decisions. It's not about what I need. It's what do you need? So take care, have fun, stay safe, keep shooting.